Welcome back, everyone. Today on Stadiums of the World, we're touring SECU Stadium, nicknamed The Shell. Just up the road from Washington, D.C., and home of the University of Maryland football team. Located in College Park, Maryland, and on the campus of the University of Maryland. Like all my videos, every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to write in the comment section what you like about the stadium. And with that, let's start the tour. The stadium opened in 1950 and has several former names, including Bird Stadium and Maryland Stadium, and currently has a capacity of 51,802. This stadium has a history of multiple expansions throughout its years, which is the case with a lot of college football stadiums, and what kind of makes it unique to you know a lot of pro stadiums. A lot of pro stadiums really don't have many expansions at all. And when this stadium opened, it had a capacity of 34,680, and really just comprised of the lower horseshoe shape that you see in this photo. In 1991, they added the five-story Tizer Tower on the south side of the football stadium, which you can see in this photo. One thing to note, though, is the Tizer Tower that you see today is not that tower. Actually, in 2007, they started redoing the tower. They completely like, tore it down and rebuilt it. It's it, three times the size of it, I believe, and it had a press box and luxury suites and stuff, making it one of the, the nicer ones in the Big Ten. And this photo is just showing kind of the, the outside of that tower looking back. If you look at the far end zone, you can see another thing that they added in 1991, which was the football team house on the east end zone. In 1995, they expanded the stadium again, and they added what I think really makes the stadium today, and that's the upper decks on the north side, which you can see here, and that brought the capacity up to 48,055. In 2002, they added the video board behind the east end zone, and they also expanded the football team house that you can see here. In 2007, they lowered the field and increased the capacity to 54,000. And in 2012, they replaced the natural grass with artificial turf. A couple other things to point out here. You can see Capital One Field. That's what they had the name of the stadium when I visited it. And you can also see the lights in this. They didn't add lights to the stadium until 1985. In 2008, they added a video board behind the West End Zone that you can see. Uh, the video board you see in this photo, though, is actually an even larger video board that they installed before the 2021 season so it's not the original one this is the new one before going to the stadium what always stood out to me when I whenever I'd see it on TV or wherever is that you know you had this simple horseshoe shaped and then on one side you had you know kind of three levels of seating and it always seemed to you know be over and overpowering and, and just very grand and to be honest when I went there and visited the stadium it, it was kind of a little bit lackluster. I mean, it, it was large and, it, you know, I sat on the opposite side and it was, you know, uh, towering over you, but it, it just, it, I guess it wasn't as exciting or as extreme as I thought it would be in person. From this view, you can see the top of the stadium kind of peeking out over the fence. And, and one thing to note is the, if you're walking along the street level on the north, west, and south side, you know, you walk in the stadium, the lower bowl is all below street level, and the only thing that's really above it is the Tizer Tower on the south side and the upper two decks on the north side. If you're looking on the, the east side, though, you know, it actually opens up and it's a little bit different, but on those three sides, street level is actually above the, the lower bowl. Something important to point out about the seating is if you set in the lower rows, given how the stadium is set up, you, you really have a hard time seeing above the players and everybody that's on that bench area in this you can see in this photo there's the marching band there so you may look at it and go wow front row seating it's it's pretty cheap <laughs> well there's a reason for it and you could be in a situation where you can't see the game if you sit here uh, i went to the game it was november is a cold game playing a really good michigan team but i'll say this is you know it just it wasn't a very imposing environment you know you had the huge uh three levels of seating across the way but it just the you know kind of the empty seating made it seem like it was just the people up there were kind of far away and it wasn't it wasn't scary or you know like oh my gosh so many people so just that was my take on it the lacrosse teams also play at the football stadium and you can see here that the stadium's not too far from the baseball stadium so kind of tucked over in the sports sports area on campus 
every video I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium just showing I was there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know in the comments section what stadium you want me to do a video on next. And with that, take care, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.